In this podcast, I'll be looking into the convention of website top links within a website. I will first be reflecting this point to general genre website examples and then to specific electropop genre website examples. I have seven general genre website examples and four electropop genre website examples. One of the electropop examples being the website of the artist I have chosen, Astrid S. Please be aware that some of the images used of the websites are slightly old, so the websites for these artists now look quite different. I will briefly compare the old versions of the websites with the new versions of the websites. The first example I will look at is this ACDC example. I can denote that the top link list here includes home, news, tour, music, media, the band, fan mail and store, all written out in words at the top centre of the website. There are eight links for this example. None of the links have drop down menus. Moving on to the next example, Yumi at 6. The top link list includes only little icons, unlike in the ACDC example. Three of these icons are social media icons. The other two are both merchandise, which if pressed, takes you to their store. However, on Yumi at 6, 6's new website, they have changed the top link top list by not using icons anymore, but instead using words like in the ACDC example. The top list now includes home, live, merch, videos, music and sign up. This top, this top list is also in the very top centre of the website to catch the reader's eye. In the top right corner of the website now, there is use of eight icons, only for the social media, merchandise store and iTunes store. Also, none of these links in the top list have a drop-down menu. The next example is Alt J. This website has a different layout to the others. The artist's name is above the top list and the social media icons are below. The top list includes news, live, music, shop and sign up. I've noticed that so far a lot of the websites have the top link sign up. Sign up is basically where you sign up to be a part of the mailing list to receive emails about the artist's concert, events, news, etc. The next example I'll be looking at is Sean Mendes. The top list here is very long and in the top centre of the website in a white sans serif font on a dark green background to catch the reader's eye and stand out. It is very user friendly this way because it is so clear to see. The top list includes home, music, tour, news, videos, official merch and Sean Access. So, seven links in the list. This is quite extensive as was the amount of links in the ACDC example. I've also noticed so far that it is very common to have the links tour slash live, music, store slash merch and home. News and videos are less common to see in the top list. Again, as in the majority of the previous examples, you can see that the artist name slash logo is on the left top corner of the website, next to the top list. This is always in a bigger font than the top list font. The next example I'm going to look at is BMFV. The top list here is quite short with only three links in it. This is yet again quite counter-typical to the other examples. I have now learned that the average amount of links in the top list is between 5 and 6, even though the majority of the examples I have looked at have 7 or 8 links in the top list. In this example also, when you press one of the links in this top list, it changes colour to red from black. The final example I'm going to look at is Charlie Puth. The top list here is quite long with an extensive seven links. Yet again, the front for the the font for the top list is very clear, white on a dark black background in a sans serif font, also in uppercase lettering. Now I am going to refer to the electropop genre examples that I mentioned at the start of the vodcast. The first example I'm going to look at is the artist I've chosen, Astrid S. As you can see here, the top list includes home, video, social, live, biography, music, contact and shop. Again, there are seven links in the top list. The second electropop example I'm going to discuss is Mabel. There is a colour scheme throughout this website which is purple and black. The font all over the website is black including in the top list. The links in the top list are in a sans serif font yet again and is in lowercase lettering which is somewhat counter typical to the other examples. Also this is the first example I've seen where the top list is vertical instead of horizontally spread out across the top centre. This is very counter typical to see. The choice to do that could have been made because Mabel is an indie artist which is kind of the opposite of a commercial artist. So so it is not important for her to do things like other commercial artists. The third example I will discuss is Charlie XCX. The top list for this website is at the centre bottom of the website, just above the social media icons list. There are only four links within the, this top list. 
videos, music live and store. So, only four links in the top list. Yet again, the font of the links is in, in the top list are sans serif white. However, the font is in lowercase lettering, again, which is somewhat counter-typical to the ex other examples I looked at. Charlie XES is also quite an indie artist, somewhat like Mabel. This is maybe why both of these artists have used lowercase lettering in their top lists. The last example I'll be looking at is Halsey. The top list on the, this website is at the bottom centre and when you scroll down the website this top, this top list sticks to the top of the page you are on. This is the first example I have seen with the top list that does this. In the other examples the top list stays in one place and doesn't move at all. The links in this top list are in a sans serif white font which is in uppercase lettering. I've learned that this is the common thing to see in most examples. Also one thing I haven't picked up on throughout this podcast is the spacing in the lettering. In this example the spacing is close together. In the majority of all the examples I've looked at I've noticed that there is frequent use of social media icons either in the colour black or white in this house example, there are a whopping 11 social media icons. This is the highest amount of social media icons that I have seen so far in any of the examples I have looked at. After looking at all 11 examples, I now know what I must include in the top list of my website and how to lay it out. Then looking at the electropop examples, I have further discovered the way to lay the links in the top list, how many to include, which links to include and what font slash colour to make them in the electropop genre.